Hey guys, I'm very unhappy. I'm in a brand new Hummer in traffic and the truck has taken a complete dump and it will not go into gear and it won't go out of gear. Uh, and I've tried a restart. Uh, so now it is in safe mode. That has done nothing. Uh, I can't open the trunk uh, because uh, it doesn't work. I could try a hard reboot and unplug the battery. There's a police officer behind me who luckily came and uh, there's just a lot of traffic right now. So I was a little worried because I'm right in this turn lane in Longmont, Colorado, uh, and there's no way to do a hard reboot on this system. Like I say, I tried safe mode. It will not go into gear at all. It's just stuck. Hey Tommy, this is not the video we wanted to make. It certainly isn't. So we just purchased a brand new fully electric Hummer EV just a few days ago. Yep, we purchased it with a friend of the channel, Jason, just like we did with the Bronco. It was his reservation, but we ended up paying for the truck. And how much did we pay? We paid $115,000. We traded in our Ford F-150 Lightning. And I want to extend a big thank you to Jason. He wants to help promote a really cool cause, the Dumb Friends League, which is a great organization that helps uh, dogs that need adoption. So check them out using the link below. Yeah, so the first thing we did was we brought it home and hooked it up to the internet and made sure that the software was completely up to date. Absolutely. And when all of this occurred, when all of the issues we're going to talk about occurred, the truck had less than 250 miles on it. So I was driving back uh, through Longmont from a video shoot and this happened. Hey guys, I'm very unhappy. I'm in a brand new Hummer in traffic and the truck has taken a complete dump and it will not go into gear and it won't go out of gear. Uh, and I've tried a restart. I can't open the trunk uh, because uh, it doesn't work. There's no way to do a hard reboot on this system. Like I say, I tried safe mode. It will not go into gear at all. It's just stuck. Uh, I can't even open the, the, the front for some reason. It won't open. Don't ask me why. It just keeps saying that. When I go to turn it off, this screen turns off, but this screen stays on. That one really isn't going off, it's just going dark basically. And I'm pretty pissed off right now, and I'm pretty nervous about, you know, the traffic that this truck has left me. Let me show you, if this police officer wasn't here, this is where the truck left me stranded. Very dangerous location. And I've got Tommy coming with uh, the lightning to try to tow me out of here, but if it's in park, it won't. And then, of course, I called OnStar. Uh, they booted me through like 14 different people, kept asking for my phone number. Uh, they said I needed premium service. And finally, they said the soonest they can get a tow truck here is in an hour. Uh, and, you know, if it wasn't for the police officer behind me, I'd be in a very precarious location. And, you know, why can't you open the hood? What What is wrong? Why is the software taking such a dump that you can't even open the hood and maybe try to reboot the 12 volt battery? Here, here's the hood. happens it's like they, they sealed the battery hermetically very dangerous oh so there now it, it turned itself off finally well kind of sort of you can tell uh, so i'll try to turn it back on There it goes, it's turning back on. Whenever I get this little thing, start vehicle to view application, it means that the thing is not turning on. Yeah, you know, uh, not a good situation. I am, uh, I am not very happy right now. We just spent $115,000. We've been doing this for 12 years and we've never had a vehicle that has completely let, leave, let us this stuck in this kind of a situation. And like I say, the worst part about this is I can't get the thing out of park uh, because uh, this is not doing anything. So I've got a nine and a half thousand pound vehicle that I can't even tow out of here. I can't reboot the battery. I can't reset the system. So here's what happened uh, and led up to this incident. I was driving back from the video shoot and the truck threw an error code that said that the steering rack needed servicing and it gave me two trouble lights. The first one was uh, the emergency uh, collision warning light came on that it was not functioning. And the second one, oddly, was that the TPMS was uh, not correct in the tires, tire pressure monitoring sensor.
Very odd, but the biggest warning was service steering rack. So what did you do? So, you know, I, I thought to myself, what I'll do is I'll just cycle the truck. So when I got into Longmont, there was a long line of people because this was during rush hour making a left turn and a double left. And I thought I'll just turn the truck off and on uh, and cycle it and that'll get rid of the problem. Kind of like you would reboot a computer. Yeah, absolutely. Was, wasn't the brightest decision uh, in retrospect, uh, but when I went to turn it back on, well, this happened. Restart in safe mode restart so let's try that for the 15th time because i got no other choice to exit uh safe mode turn your vehicle off and open the door okay that turns off that turns off um uh, hopefully the uh the only thing that's working on this truck actually are the hazards uh, apparently people don't see the hazards because they kept lining up behind me or if they do they don't pay attention to them which is also terrifying especially in this kind of traffic um so yeah so there you go that's how it did it, it did that uh, and it still won't do anything in safe mode. Yeah, nothing. It's just, uh, yeah, it just brings you back to the same screen. Home, settings, uh, system, reset options, safe mode, restart in safe mode. To exit safe mode, turn vehicle off, which I can't because it won't turn off. Let me show you. So that screen turns off, but that one stays on, which means it's still on. It just won't turn off. That one comes right back on when I hit the button. It's like, you know what it's like? It's like being in a computer, uh, except you're not. You're in, in a vehicle stuck in traffic with the rain, with uh, you know a dangerous situation and um, no way to get, no way to get, extract yourself. Like I said, if it wasn't for the man behind us, with that, I, I, I was, I'd be terrified. At this point, I'm ready to just leave the key in this thing and, you know, walk away from here because at some point, you do this long enough, someone's going to crash into the back of you because they're just not going to be paying attention. Oh, good. You know, the wiper stopped working. How nice is that? Let's see if that does anything. Oh, there we go. Good, good thing, uh, GM. I'm glad the wipers work. Hopefully the tow truck will come and, and grab this thing and pick it up and um, take it back to uh, the dealership and we can find out what the hell happened to this. So I used OnStar Tommy to call for help, uh, but I also made another call and that was to you. Exactly. Now, we were kind of in a predicament because the truck was stuck in park and nothing you were trying was able to get the truck out of park. So the first thing I did was go right to the online owner's manual. I had a producer, Zach, looking at the owner's manual, trying to figure out if there was a way we could get this truck into neutral because 9,400 pounds worth of Hummer in park is basically a giant paperweight stuck in the middle of the road. And there's not much that's going to get you uh, unstuck out of that situation. Yeah. In fact, before you showed up, a guy came with a pickup truck and said, Said, hey, if you have a tow rope, I'll pull you out uh, of the road, the busy street. And I'm like, that'd be great, but the thing's in park and you're not going to be able to pull this truck. I was pretty confident, however, that by driving up there, maybe the two of us could figure out how to get in a neutral. And then this happened. There comes my son, Tommy, in our borrowed lightning. That's, that's actually work, that's working, so maybe he can come around. Uh, and It's almost funny. There, now the wipers start working. There should, shouldn't you just be able to hold that down for a long time and do like a hard reboot? You know, Alt, whatever that is, Alt, Command, Delete, I think, uh, on a computer uh, and, and do a reboot. Wouldn't that be something that'd be nice to program in here? I'm gonna turn the truck off. So what I try to do is I try to open the hood. Yep. So Zach said, he's yeah. looking in the owner's manual. Yeah, what do you say? Double push the button. Yeah. Okay. Mm. When you ever get this message, it means it won't start. It thinks the vehicle's not starting. Can you try pushing and holding it. I tried everything. I even tried opening up the hood so I could disconnect the battery, but it won't do. It won't. It won't. Even, the hood won't open. The front won't well, open. There's got to be a way to get it into neutral. Okay. Because a tow truck driver has to get in neutral. He's not going to be on a tow truck. Well, it's wet. He might be able to just <laughs> pull it. That's a terrible solution. 
I don't know what else you do. You try calling uh, the OnStar people, do they know? I tried calling the OnStar people, and they sent the tow truck, but it won't be here for at least another half hour. Oh, you got something new there. wrong with the software. It's like it's gone into some weird... I put it in safe mode. What does that mean? Well, there's a safe mode you can reset. And there's a way to take it out of safe mode, but you gotta start it. But it won't go out of safe mode now. Uh, what, what does safe mode do? I'll show you. I don't know. I tried resetting it so you can... Here, let me show. Reset in state mode. Restart in safe mode. So it's in safe mode. See right there? Yep. In safe mode, your vehicle... Turn the, your vehicle off. Did you try this? I tried. It didn't go out of safe mode. Did you wait for a full minute? Yes. Okay. I did. So the thing you tried didn't work either, huh? I just don't, I don't know how a tow truck's going to get this thing up on a tow truck if it doesn't go into neutral. Yeah. We could push it out of here. There was a guy who offered to give me a pull. Cause I, gonna, you can't pull the truck. It's... I had a rope. I have a, I have a tow I rope. I have a rope too. As you could tell, Tommy, I was pretty um, stressed and frustrated because, well, we had tried everything to get it out of park. Yeah, so some things I tried, I tried pushing and holding the power button, pushing and holding the brake, pushing and holding the shifter into neutral, double tapping the power button, double tapping the brake. I tried every combination of these things for like 10 minutes trying to get this truck out of park. I even went on the forums, I went on Hummer Chat, I went through the owner's manual again, and nothing we were doing could get this truck out of park. So we thought, well, let's disconnect the battery. It's an obvious step. So we went to open the front trunk, but the front trunk, which is power operated, wouldn't open. Nothing we tried could get this front trunk open. We tried the button, we tried the key, it was jammed closed. Now, in the video, you could tell that I tried to reboot the system in safe mode, uh, but safe mode on a computer would be basically running the iOS without any of the auxiliary programs running, just so you could start up the computer. Uh, I did that, it didn't do any good. Yeah, and you follow the directions to a T is also, also worth noting. All right, here comes the tow truck. It's a big truck, which is good, because we're gonna need a big truck. He's coming around. Hey. That is a big truck. I'm glad they sent a big truck. <laughs> hey, how's it going, man? So, well, the software took a dump, uh, and I can't put it in neutral. I can't, I can't open the hood to try to, you know, reboot it. Can you can you pull a 9,000 pound truck up on this? Because that's how much it weighs. Uh, yeah, I can. Yeah, it's like a heavy duty truck, basically. But I can't put it in neutral, so we're gonna have to drag it. Luckily, it's raining. Yeah. Yeah. We just bought it on Friday. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Leroy. Hey, I'm Roman. Nice to meet nice you. Thanks for coming by. Yeah. What are you looking for? It doesn't have a tow mode. It doesn't go into any mode. See, you can't, you can't, you can't change yeah, it. Yeah, but in your system, you should have a tow mode. Really? Yeah. Most of them do. So this one's off-road mode. We can go, let's, let's try this, hold on, go home. And then those are all your settings. Off-road trailering, my GMC, no. Google News Podcast, that's not gonna do stuff. And then the only one is settings, and you were there. Yeah, team driver. Yeah, see? We're trying to find a tow mode, Tommy. Now, I knew that if we could get the front trunk open, we had a chance at doing a hard reboot on the truck. Because on these EVs, you actually have two primary batteries. You've got the giant one, which is what powers the truck down the road. It's the high voltage battery. But then you also have a smaller 12 volt battery, just like a standard car, which powers everything else. So if we could get that front trunk open, we could get to the 12 volt battery, unplug it, and maybe have a chance at fully resetting the truck. Now, we dove deep into the owner's manual once again, and I found that there's supposed to be this little tiny cable pole deep, deep, deep underneath the dashboard. And if you yank on that hard enough, apparently you can open up the front trunk. So that's what we did. Okay, can you open it? Yeah, it should be manual disconnect. Alright. No lock, huh? He's gotta pull it twice, okay. I think. There we go. So we could pull the battery wherever that is and see if we can reset the system that way. Do you know where the battery is? Yeah, it should be under here. Under there? Yeah. Let's let's pull the battery. Okay, 
There we go. All right. All right, well, we killed it. I mean, everything is killed. Let's give it like 20 seconds. Yeah, maybe it'll reset yeah. itself. Give it a guy good minute. Yeah. Of course, it couldn't break down when it was like sunny. No, of course not. <laughs> An hour ago. Couldn't, couldn't. At least it's cool. Yeah, at least it's cool. So you know what happened? So I was driving along, right? And I get this uh, fault that says, uh, this is, this is, some of this is my fault. It says service steering rack immediately. And they gave me the, uh, you know, the crash warning is, is off. So I'm like, I'll just stop at the light. I'll recycle it. So I go to turn it off and it wouldn't turn back on. That, my thought was just, I'm gonna stop the light. I'll just turn it off, turn it on, you know, recycle it. Cycle it, yeah. recycle it. Yeah, cycle it. And yeah, that didn't work. Recycling might be next. <laughs> <laughs> That might be next indeed, Tommy. All right, hey, tell you what, you go and try to start it. I've had the worst <laughs> luck at this point. <laughs> Have you done one of these yet? No, this is the first, first one. Yeah, here. yeah. This is our brave new world. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I don't like it. I don't blame you. <laughs> I'm not very happy right now myself. <laughs> I, I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> You know the problem is it's just a computer, right? Yeah, sure. and you think they they make like it very do, simple. Yeah, you think like they, if you need a tow mode, there's a little button or something. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. Controlled alt delete, right? Yeah. Some version of that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, try it. I think it's working. Is, is it going into gear? Look on the thing. Yeah, I think you're. I uh, know. No, Shifter is locked. Press brake for 20 seconds. Okay. Open and close driver window. It's making us it's making us do some weird stuff. Hold on. <laughs> Open and then close passenger window. What in the heck is this doing? Alright. Okay, please close the door. Open and close <laughs> left rear window. Can you shoot that? Can you yeah. See that? It says shifter is locked. Okay. Open and close right rear window. How about you just give me a cable to put it in neutral? Open hood. Dismiss. Open and close passenger window. Not yet. What is this doing? Oh shit, that was the wrong window. Okay. <gasps> Brake for 20 seconds. It said press brake for 20 seconds. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on, maybe it worked. What do you mean? Well, nothing happened. Oh, nothing happened yet? 6, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. These are 8. Shifter Shift unlocked! unlocked. Neutral! <laughs> How about drive? Okay, wait. Wait. You guys might have to sit in there until i pull it up because if you open the doors it might throw it in back in the park well, quick, we'll go into we'll go into drive should we try, try it. let's try it. drive yeah we got drive oh well, got reverse we got reverse <laughs> well, uh... well, let, let's pull it out, out of here now the hood won't close how about manually close it yeah all right that was the craziest thing with the windows I've never seen that before. Are no. you going to follow this guy? Yeah, just follow him. So, by basically unplugging the computer, in other words, disconnecting the battery, we were able to get the system to reboot. The craziest part was how you then had to get it out of park. And as you just saw in the video, it's a pretty crazy procedure. Yeah, I mean, putting all the windows down. <laughs> holding um, the brake for 20 yeah, seconds. holding the brake for 20 seconds. I mean, it was just bizarre. But eventually, after enough trying, we got the truck out of park and actually into drive, and we were able to pull it off uh, to the side of the road. So now we know. You gotta be able to pull the battery. Yeah, but the passenger seatbelt. Yeah, I know. That's me. Fine. So are we gonna have them tow it to the dealer? No, we'll drive it to the dealer. You think it's okay? Yeah, I think it's okay. Yeah. I think if you just keep it in drive, don't don't put it out of drive, okay? We'll drive it to the dealer. Yeah, pull it in here. That's a good place. He's right. He's good. I know. I've got my seat on belt, belt buckled. We're not going far. All right, I'm not gonna put it in park. Okay. All right, I'll go talk to him. 
I do, I'll tell them we're going to drive it to the dealership. This is Leroy from Custom Tow and Haul. Uh, if you guys ever want a great guy, he's not charging us anything for this here in Longmont, give him a call. What's your phone number? 720-288-7583. Leroy, you're the best man. Hey, I good luck, man. You betcha. Thank, thank you, you buddy. Much. Appreciate thank it. You, thank you. Take care. Take Bye, care. Leroy. What a great experience. I know. What a great experience with the tow truck. Let me go thank the... He's also a fan of ours. Come bring the camera with I, you. I can't oh, get out. I'll, I'll bring yeah, it. I don't okay. want to put it in park. Right, hold on. I want to thank him. He left. I want to thank the guy who was also a fan of ours. All right, Leroy, take care. Let's go, uh, let's go get the lightning. Okay. Just parked around the corner here. How are we going to do that? I'll just take, I'll drive the lightning. Yeah, that's right. And I'll drive this straight to the dealer. And I'll follow you. Because I do not trust this thing anymore. Well, shall we recap this? Uh, just for, so like I said, what I was doing was it gave me a fault saying that the steering needed to be gone with the dealership. And so I stopped at the light. I figured I'll just cycle it, which is my mistake, my stupidity. I turned it off and then software took a big dump and then the adventure started yeah and the interesting thing was that um we couldn't get the front trunk open to use the the 12 volt battery to disconnect it so what we had to do is go into the owner's manual line because there's no physical owner's manual which also bugs me and then we found this little cable release which is way down in under there and we were able to force the front trunk open using the manual release and then we got to the battery we disconnected it for about a minute or so and um, then we did this crazy thing where we held the brake, we cycled all the windows up and down, and that seemed to have brought it back to life. Uh, the alarming thing is though, we couldn't figure out a way while the battery was connected to actually get the vehicle to go into neutral for a tow. We tried double clicking the button, we tried pushing, holding the button, brakes holding, um, looked in the other manual, we went into neutral here on the shifter a thousand times and nothing we could do could get us into a... Uh, it just tried to auto park itself. Maybe we don't touch the screen. Can we just like leave it be? Yeah, I was, was that weird? It just tried to go into auto park. You know, Dad, at this point, I think we don't touch anything except the brake and the accelerator, maybe the steering wheel to go around turns and we get it to the dealership. Yeah, okay. I That's think... the only thing I think we should do at this point. Yeah, I agree. So, Tommy, this is a safety issue and it's a important issue because right now there are you know less than a thousand Hummers running around. GM hasn't sold that many, but you've got to figure the software is probably going to go in the Silverado EV. And now we're talking about hundreds of thousands of trucks, right? And so I think uh, the GM probably needs to take a serious look at the software and some of the redundancies in the truck so that this doesn't happen to other people. Now, a couple other things worth noting. When you first got that steering rack uh, warning, it actually sent you a notification letting you know, please take it to the dealer. Now, we were able to drive the truck to the dealer under its own power once we got it out of park, and it's currently at the dealer. And it's worth noting, today is Tuesday the 4th. The truck um, had this issue on Monday the 3rd of October. So it's basically real time, and we'll keep you updated as to what the issue was. Yeah, they did put an OBD reader right away on it, but I, I don't know what you know it said. Uh, obviously, there should be a record of what happened with the software. But you know we're living in a time where we're transitioning from internal combustion engines to electric vehicles. And there's two big transitions that are happening. The one that people understand is a drivetrain, right? Cars are now being powered by batteries. But the bigger one, which also affects internal combustion engine cars, is that cars and trucks are now controlled exclusively by software. Right. Uh, and the issue becomes when that software doesn't work. Unlike a computer, you know, you're in a much more dangerous situation if you have to go and unplug the battery or if you have to go and reboot the system. And right now, at least in the Hummer EV, I felt very unsafe sitting you know, on that road in rush hour traffic in rain with me being unable to either put it in neutral or put it in gear. Well, let us know what you guys think in the comment section below and we'll see you on the next video. Yep, thanks, ciao.